Now let's create the scoreboard using these variables that we just created. First of all, go inside of, um, of the view where we create the menu, okay? And right below creating the menu, right here, indeed move to view, we're gonna create the scoreboard. So right, create scoreboard, okay? And now we're actually gonna copy this and get to create the scoreboard. So go all the way down, and at the end of the file right here, let's create the scoreboard. So font for function, create scoreboard. Now, let's see what we're gonna do there. Um, we need to use the scoreboard that we have and add its image. So scoreboard is equal to SK sprite node, image named, and we need the scoreboard image. So let's see if we have the scoreboard image. So if you go to the constant.swift right here, as you can see, we do not have the scoreboard image. So we could just add it here for in the constant. So let's do it. Let scoreboard image equal to scoreboard. So I believe the name of the image is scoreboard. Let's take a look in the images.sc assets. Okay, and uh, we see the scoreboard somewhere. Yes, right here, it just says scoreboard. Okay, so, so far so good. All right, so let's go back here. Uh, it's complaining. Oh, because we already have it actually. So we didn't even need to edit. But good thing we went here because I saw that the button restart image says MIA, so I'm missing a, a J here, so I'm just gonna add it here now, since we're here, all right? Good, so let's go back to the uh, game scene, all right, and the image name would be scoreboard image, all right? Next thing you wanna do is position the scoreboard, scoreboard.position, I'm sorry, not scoreboard image, scoreboard.position is equal to CG point make. Now, obviously, the scoreboard is going to be above the um, the above the cards, right? So size dot width divided by two because we want it centered horizontally, and the y axis we want to display it uh, as high as possible, but under the um, under the banner, the add banner that we're going to have. Now, an add banner is usually 50 pixels. That's why I, that's why I put minus 50 minus scoreboard dot size dot height divided by two. All right, next thing you wanna do is say the scoreboard position, the uh, Z position, okay? So Z position is equal to, let's put one for now, then add the name, scoreboard.name is equal to scoreboard. Okay, and uh, then we wanna add the scoreboard. So add child scoreboard, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, um, is run this and see if it appears. Okay, now obviously this is gonna create the scoreboard, but we're gonna to want to hide it. But just for now, give it a shot and try it out. Let's see. Yes, you see the scoreboard is right there. So we see it behind, okay? But we don't want it right now. We only want it when we press play. So we want to hide it. So we're gonna create the function to hide it, okay? All right, so let's do funk hide scoreboard. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is scoreboard dot hidden is equal to true. Then we also wanna hide the try count, okay? So do try count best label dot hidden is equal to true. And then the try try count current label dot hidden is equal to true as well. Now, next thing you wanna do is um, call that, okay? So the hide scoreboard, we want to call this right below. Whenever we, whenever we create the scoreboard, we want to hide it. Okay. So if you go up inside of um, of the uh, of the did move to view right here, we create the scoreboard and we hide it. All right. So now we have some we have some stuff missing in the sense that we have not created the labels, right? The the best score label and the current score label. So go all the way down and go to create scoreboard and. Now let's do the same thing for the um, for the uh, try count, okay? So try count current label is equal to sk label node, and we're gonna use a font name, okay? So font named, and here we're gonna need a font name. So I'm just gonna write font name. Now we do not have a font name yet, but I'm just gonna write font name, and I'm gonna create it. Where am I gonna create it? In the constant, okay? So I'm gonna go inside of the constant.swift, and I'm gonna create it right here, okay? 
So I'm going to say let font name equal to, and I'm going to use the chalkboard, which is uh, some kind of a, a chalk, you know, so it's a little bit like a uh, childish looking dash regular. Okay. Now, if you do not know uh, what, uh, which font you want to use, you can go to um, find fonts at iosfonts.com. Okay. You have all the fonts and they show you how they look like. Okay. All right. So we have the font name. Now let's go back. All right. We're using the font name. Next thing we want to do is um, change the text. So we're going to do try count current label dot. Uh, let's put a, a question mark because it might be empty. So dot text is equal to attempts. And we're going to put the number of attempts, which is the try count current. OK, that's the number of attempts we have. We have. So attempts, I'm, I'm going to add an S here. OK. And now we're going to say what is the font size. So try count current label dot font size. And we're going to put a, a size of 30. OK, now feel free to make it bigger or smaller. It's really up to you. Now, try count best label dot um, dot font color we're going to use a white color okay is equal to sk color dot white color okay now it's up to you you can also do a blue color or a green color really anything you'd like now try count best label dot um, z position and we want to put this on top so it's going to be equal to 11 so it's as 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 up as possible and then we're going to say the try count label dot position because we haven't set the position yet is equal to cg point make okay and uh, the x is going to be the try count current label dot position i'm sorry uh, we're going to do the scoreboard so that's going to be on the scoreboard Okay, scoreboard.position.x. So it's going to be at the same place as where the, uh, the scoreboard is starting. So at the middle of the scoreboard. And then the y is going to be the scoreboard.position.y. And we're going to put it a little bit to the, to, to the right. So plus 10. Okay. Now, obviously, we're going to add it. How do we do this? Add child. And we're going to add a try count current label. All right. So that's it for the current label. Now, um, what we want to do is display the best score, okay? But first of all, um, to do, we need to get the best score from the storage. Why? Because at some point, we're going to store NS user default, okay? So we're going to store the, the, the best score because every time the user is going to come back to the app, whether it's today or in 10 days or in, in six months, you want to be able to remember what the, what the best score was, okay? So you can uh, get it from the storage, okay? But meanwhile, let's create the best score label. Now, what I'm going to do here is just basically copy and paste what we have here. So I'm just going to take this right here, and I'm going to copy this, command C, and paste it below here, okay? But instead of try count current label, I'm going to say try count best label, okay? And I'm just going to copy this one and paste it below, paste it here, so just to save some time, okay? because it's very similar. Now, the difference is that instead of single attempts, it says best, okay? And here it will say the try count best, not the current, okay? Now, next thing you probably want to do here is also uh, change the, um, the position. You want this to be below the try count current label. So let me remove this and say try count current label dot position dot x. And for the Y, we're going to say um, try count current label dot position dot Y minus 10 minus try count dot position label dot font size. OK, so basically, if the size is bigger or smaller, it's going to just uh, it, it's going to go up or and down depending on the, the size of the font. OK, all right. And uh, I believe that's all we need for now. So we create the scoreboard. Let me remove the... Uh, the um, now, what we're going to do is whenever we're going to press play, we're going to unhide it. We're going to show it. So let's create a, a function to show that. How do we do this? Right here, 
we're going to do func show scoreboard show scoreboard and right here we're going to say the exact opposite of what we have here okay so scoreboard hidden false try count label hidden false and try count current label hidden false okay so we want to show the scoreboard whenever we press the play button so let's go and whenever the play button is pressed we call the show method okay so go up and right here where it says play we do show scoreboard okay all right so now let's press uh, play and see it in action now it's not completely finished but it's already a very good start okay so this appears now what we want to do is press play and there we go as you can see it says attempts zero because we haven't tried yet and best nil because there's no value for the best so there's many things to uh, work and tweak but we're getting there already okay it's displaying the scoreboard the number of attempts and so on all right see you guys in the next lecture